Hey everybody, welcome back. It's a new weekly. I'm uh, like not horrible at this one. Hopefully it's a little bit um, less cursed. Don't don't hit the cockroach. You didn't have to hit the cockroach. After, after everything we've been through, after all those nice things I said at the start of this, let's be a delicious believer. You could have a delicious hot dog. Delicious doggy doesn't, it doesn't have to go in that direction. I'll take my draw. Can I tell you that I think that hot dogs are like one of the most underrated foods in North American cuisine? Every uh, brew pub, gastro pub has a uh, 25 burgers on the menu that are just, uh, it's an exercise in decadence. Peanut butter sandwich burger with the, we injected peanut butter into the center of the beef patty and spread some hot pepper jelly on the bun. We got a barbecue bacon burger. We got a Jack Daniels whiskey barbecue bacon burger. We got a Jose Cuervo tequila lime chicken burger. Like it's just, there's, it, I'm not saying that I hate the burgers. Sorry, I'm really going off here. I'm simply suggesting that the burgers are, they're, they're repres. What has he done? What has he done? Does he know what he's cooking? We'll get that otter back. Don't even, I, I've just got a strong feeling about it. And we're winning this round anyway. But yet, so few restaurants have a hot dog on the menu. I don't know if it's, if it's a societal, it's a perception of the hot dog is like a food that can only exist at a baseball game or something like that. Sure. Or if it's, um, you know what? Stork me on this one. I'm going to say stork me and, and buff the stork. We, there are buffaloes in the pack this week. We might want to talk about getting a level three marmoset if possible to enable a buffalo. But anyway, um, this is winnable, man. This is more than winnable. It's one. I love a good hot dog. It's harder to, I guess, like class up a hot dog. Take some meat because I'm going to take you to level two. It's harder to class up a hot dog um, to the extent that you can charge like $12.99 plus for it on a restaurant menu. I guess maybe that's part of it. And the, unlike a burger that actually withstands the, the toppings you add to it, even if I do find it a little bit ridiculous from time to time, the, the sheer number of them, um, a hot dog kind of falls apart once you start throwing a bunch of garbage on top with a couple of notable exceptions. No, no disrespect to... Cincinnati chili dogs, okay? I can't believe it. I might be making a level three cockroach. I don't know what to say about that. I, I don't feel good about it, I'll tell you that much. I don't feel good about buying a salad here, but at least it buffed the right units. Um, but I, I, I would love to, they're not good for you, of course, but I would love to eat more hot dogs than I eat. I would say that's one of the foods that I eat. Oh, what a horrible payout. <laughs> That's one of the foods that I eat the least in relation to how much I would like to eat it. I would like to eat a hot dog as often as I eat a hamburger. I'd like to have a hot dog every quarter, if possible. But I, I, I find myself bereft of the opportunity, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to take a chance on a level 2 snail. Stranger things have happened. This is not going to happen for us, and that's okay. Let's take one of these. We'll get a level 3 marmoset next time. Which means we don't need to get a level 3... Um, cockroach in order to enable a bison. There's all sorts of superstars in the packs this week. We've got, um, oh no. Oh yes. Oh no, it's okay. It's fine. Um, there's hippos. There's crocodiles. There's bisons, as you just saw for yourself right there. Uh, what's this? A seal. You know what? We have enough HP that I, I look at this and I say, why not? Let's take a seal. As, as the inimitable Hillary Duff said, you need to go. She did not say that. She did not say you need to go. Let's keep you for one round. Then I'm going to sell you. Um, she said, why not take a crazy chance? Why not do a crazy dance? Now, I don't remember any of the rest of the lyrics, because call me crazy. And if you're crazy, call me twice. But at that stage in my life where I was a teenager, I was enamored with listening to good music instead of bad music. No disrespect to Hilary Duff, lead actress on How I Met Your Father, a show I've been meaning to pretend to watch. How about one of those? How about Roll Me? You gotta go. Before we buy our next food, you gotta go. But it's gotta be for a good cause. This is not a great cause. Like a penguin, it buffs two level two and three friends. That's not good enough in my world. I would rather take a bat 
I'm genuinely, I, I'm, I feel bad. I'm just looking for one targeted food. The seal, I love it as a unit, but it's been done dirty lately, man. There's been so many weeklies with like absolutely trash tier loot. Oh my God, we're gonna lose to a sloth team. Does that make me a hero? I didn't lose on purpose. I'm giving you all the respect in the world. Plus nice, nice fedora. I mean, I, I, you're sticking around for a bit. Let's try not to lose. Take a lemon. Take one of these. I'm starting to think maybe it's, maybe it's a little late. But it, hold on. Give me a buy me. Give me a sell me. Give me a level one kangaroo behind a lemon marmoset. I'm starting to feel like this is maybe a six win game if we get a little lucky. That was very good though. That was a little lucky, but good nonetheless. Hold on here. Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry, ham sandwich got stuck in my throat a little bit. That takes us to five. You don't need to be here. I want to maximize our odds of feeding the seal. Okay, mission accomplished. <laughs> I think we can definitely take a crocodile. Probably should have just fed you a lemon, honestly. But a, a crocodile, I think it can kind of go off this week. You can snipe a, a shark at the bank. You can snipe a vulture, although vultures have been very much nerfed, as you're about to see. Well, no, you're not, because it's dead. But 10-4? We're lucky to get the trade on that. This, this could have gone a lot worse. I think we actually got very lucky with the, the way that their payout worked out for them there. And I, like, I can't really get rid of you because you're a 10-12. But I want to, because I feel like this run has like no future right now. What a buy! What a buy! There's also no um There's no chocolate in the pack. There's crows, but there's no chocolate. So as a result, it's not like we're gonna find it easy to get to a level two seal. They've got two seals. It's like they heard what I said. Okay, this hippo's gonna run wild on us. That's a shop difference. You just gotta put some respect on that. Six wins. I would love to just, if we could push this to seven, I'd feel a little bit better about myself, you know? Like if I could give you one of these real quick. And then I don't know, you don't really need a mushroom on our, on our stork, it's not really doing anything. This is the money maker right there. And then would you, would you? They, they would, they would. Now, the messed up thing is, I'm not even sure how much this actually helps us. But that, Stork is looking pretty strong. I wish he would be level two, but the Stork's looking pretty strong. We lived. We're still living. Oh, but you got a level two Stork back there. Oh. <laughs> we were so close. Please? Didn't hit the right units. Now, why don't you take a lemon now? I think the croissant has served you very well. I guess I shouldn't have been so hasty. Like, there are there are good targeted foods for the seal. Like, the ice cream's insane. But it only shows up at tier 6, so you gotta, you gotta make it quite a distance first. Also, have you seen what this crocodile has done for its country? Now I'm starting... This is 7, right? Or is this 8? No, I'm assuming we're gonna win. That's 7? Respectable. We should start to fight some scary teams soon. Let's go. Why am, why am I rolling? Why am I still rolling? I don't even want the bacon anymore. That I do want, though. Okay. I can't believe, like, we've gotten this far with a, a level 3 marmoset, a level 1 seal. I'd love to flip those around. Um, oh, I'm alive. Not to mention, we, we still haven't gotten our level 2 stork yet. Not that scared. Not that scared. I'm not scared at all, actually. Somehow we're hanging though, that's eight. Maybe the seal at level one, once ice cream shows up, maybe it's enough, man. Are you seeing what it's doing for me? I don't even want a level two giraffe. I don't, I don't consider it necessary. I should also put some respect on lemons. Lemons have done a great job for us so far. I should also mention, it's the first day of the weekly. I love to play the weekly on the first day because it's like after that point that uh, people start to data mine 
uh, the the best possible teams, and you end up uh, getting three wins at best for the rest of your your illustrious career. So, honestly, I'm uh, I'm enjoying that things they feel a little bit more wide open right now, wouldn't you say? That's how it feels to me, at least. I don't know, man. There's no melon armors. I, I roll through this. That If we live through this round, even if it's a draw, we'll be very happy to get some, some ice cream. Get a nice 1-1 one, one buff on two units. It's like, you buy the ice cream, you get the salad for free. What a deal. Hold on. At least we lived to attack the buffalo. The bison, I should say. I think we're drawing again. We could have won if, if not for the crit, but hey, they spent three gold on the crit. You got to put some respect on that. It's skill-based. Not interested. Very interested. I don't think we're finding anything better than that. At this point, we're pretty much... I mean, we're, we're riding this one out until the logical end. <laughs> could, could I get it? At, at this point, I'm like, I must have missed storks, right? There must have been like 20 storks that I just was not paying attention to because it just... Ah, we're gonna lose, by the way. This is a level two hippo. It's a, it's a strong level two hippo. Oh, we were so close to losing to the goose instead. <laughs> yeah, I'll take eight on that one. Honestly, I was happy to get to six. I was overjoyed to get to seven. And then the messed up part about it, you already know this, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, is this seven, eight, nine. After all that, after everything we've been through, seven, eight, nine, are you kidding me, man? Let's keep this around. We'll be a, a cliche hostess. We'll be named Flo or something like that. Donna. We'll be smoking a cigarette saying, is there anything else? We'll be submitting that script to Quentin, uh, Quentin? To Quentin Tarantino post haste. He will be editing in a scene where she takes her shoes off and then we're right off to market, okay? Just like this little piggy. Now, I end my turn. Even though we lost round one, I'm okay with this team. Oh. I'm still okay with this team, but I gotta learn to run some anti-pig technology. Here's the deal, though. Like it? Like it? Actually like it? Still am liking it I think we just we don't have to build the whole team around the hedgehog we'll just embrace the hedgehog we have for now does that sound okay I'm not gonna say a toe to so because we just drew I should have celebrated that draw like it was a huge dub but that's okay it happens I think we got to do a sell me sell me I'm so stupid. Um, and then a stork is good. And a swan at least survives the hedgehog. Save you for a level next time. Go ahead. Actually, you know what? Let's invest in our swan a little bit. Yeah. I also, I do think that a, um, that a raccoon can kind of go off. I got a 10 piece on stream. That's pretty good. Um, I got a 10 piece on stream. And it was uh, a, a level three raccoon played a pretty major role in it. Especially late game, it steals death touch, it steals uh, one ups, it steals lemons. It, it does some good work. Okay, just don't just be very wary about over investing. I actually, on this one, I like a sell. I hate to say that I think you're not long for this world, but I'm gonna sell you, I'm gonna buy you, I'm gonna buy you, and I'm gonna buy you. I'm gonna put you here. It's like I, our our porcupine. I'm basically buying it just because it's a three six. It it can survive two hedgehogs, which is is very valuable for me. Ooh. <laughs> now it cannot survive um, this blowfish, and that's fine. Oh my God, we drew undeserved draw. I remember when I said we got to be wary about over-investing? This would be that exact scenario, just for the record, but... <clears throat> Why don't you take some garlic? Why don't you roll? And, honestly, let's get you going a little earlier. Now you can move back to where you belong. We're going to have two extra gold per turn. Now I think we can start to talk about 
Where's the where's the squad going here? By the way, oh no, my garlic. Rec my my requisite oh no, my garlic. They basically 1v5'd me. Strong bet. You can go now, but I need to make sure it's for the right price. That's not the right price. This is the right price. But you should go too, because you kinda you're a little not good. Combine me... No, sell me for now. Buy a rooster. A rooster can go hard. Sell me. Buy me a kangaroo. The kangaroo needs garlic to survive this. And that's okay. And I think you're going to get two triggers off of this, so I'm not sweating it. Uh, yes, okay. I can sell my other hedgehog. We can put in a penguin. Penguin is good scaling. But if we lose this one, we're probably getting stuck at one win. Which is... Bad for business. Okay, that was horrendous. Your garlic is gonna run over me. I can't stop you. All right, this would be a miracle to get anything resembling goodness out of this. Let's try. That seems beautiful to me. Honestly, as much as I, I pinned our hopes on a rooster, I think the game has changed. And I think you're gonna need one of these now. And I think we probably do want this to come out here. You're gonna have 10 HP and garlic. We got a lot of scaling. It looks like a classic, like, pack one team. Yeah, we're dead. That's a good looking team. Holy cow. It's funny because, again, on paper, I feel like this team actually looks better. Like, our team looked better than the team that we got eight wins with last time. But that's the way the cookie crumbles from time to time. Okay, we were just. I think we got off to a bad start and just kept getting worse. <laughs> Let's be a bearded uncle. I, I'm something of a bearded uncle myself from time to time. But people say, oh, you have a beard sometimes, when I'm like, no, I don't have a beard. A beard is a choice. I simply have not shaved in a while. There's a difference. A beard is something you grow. I just get facial hair sometimes, something that has grown. I feel like... um. Vanilla Ice explaining how he didn't actually rip a sample from Under Pressure because in Under Pressure it goes dun 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 da da dun 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 da da dun dun. I don't know if you're familiar with this clip. And he's like, in Ice Ice Baby, it goes dun 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 da da dun dun da da dun 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 da da dun. Anyway, who cares if it is sampled? Still sucks. Look, it's not a good song. You can like it. That's fine. You gotta go. No, we need a level. Don't don't pill an ant yet. Get a level first in anything. Let's we'll start here. I love it. Sell me. Why don't you turn me loose? Okay. Roll me. I'm I, I can be patient for one more round. Like I think a capybara is okay. It allow a capybara enables very good pivots, and we got a lot of units we wouldn't mind selling here. That seems great for me. Seems great for business. Seems great for the world. Three wins. Three wins and, and one loss? Three wins and no losses. Well, okay. I will pill don't don't hit the ants. That's literally it's you had one job. And then you hit the otter too, which is disrespectful in and of itself, just for the record. But you know, for one round, give me this. That's new. Then we'll get an otter next time in the hopes that the otter gives us a goaded tier four. I don't know, I feel like maybe a penguin would kind of go hard here. We lose, we lose this one. I told you, Alphonse Creek Mountain understands the power of the hedgehog. What do you think about an Okapi now? What do you think about like Okapi by me? I worm I see the same as a as a seal right now. I'm not I'm not completely sold on it. Sell me. Kangaroo starting strong starting strong appeals to me. Make the Okapi as strong as it can be. Buff you, you get the support here. I don't know. I'm I've never really been a big, oh, well, no, that's not true. There have been times when I've been a big Okapi guy. And we got a kind of a reroll focused team. It's just a, it's an archetype we haven't thought about much lately. 
we draw, I think. Like, it hasn't showed up in too many weeklies, the, the roll meta. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, go ahead. If you're going to stick for a minute, then take a croissant. And... Honestly, as much as I'd like to roll, I feel like buying some garlic now might be more advantageous. I don't know. Like, we're putting garlic on units we don't necessarily expect to live that long, but I do feel like our opponent is being disrespectful. They're trying to get us killed by a snail and then a tamarind, and I'm saying no to that. Like, Alph like Alphonse, like Alexander Hamilton should have said no to Mariah Reynolds, but didn't. Look, Okapi, maybe you're just not all that. Maybe we sell you. We run a panda instead. Level two panda. So you're going to make you into a 15-16 with garlic that then a kangaroo is behind. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty dang good. And then, why don't we just ruin some lives just by taking a hyena just to take it? You know? It doesn't really do anything. But maybe it screws up their dodo after it's already gone. Uh, maybe not. Maybe their whole squad has no attack anymore. They only have defense. That seems pretty solid. I think the hyena is just like... I, 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 it's too much of a bet. Seems just as likely to, to help you as to hinder you. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to buy you. This is like the ultimate pivot, so we just got to be ready. Do we pivot into these? No. I would love to get you started as an 8-6. But in order for it to work, we got to get the Marmoset leveled. Or do we? No. Technically, we could just go like this. And then be like, you know, you're an 8-6. You, you don't level for a turn. That's okay. You basically got like one and a half turns of, of extra sauce by starting higher. Yeah, that makes sense. Sauce. That's the word. That's the word we're looking for. That's bad. That's also not good. Wait, honestly, you gotta hand it to this team. I, I do love a donkey on my team. If, if I, I was gonna say if I could find one and then there was one just sitting in the shop. Okay. At this point, I do think the kangaroo gets disproportionate value. I think we gotta give you... Let's give you one of these. I might be getting a little too cheeky with it. But this, give me a good tier six, like a walrus. Snake, that could go, that could go kind of hard. I think you set it up like this. So the dream is the panda buffs the marmoset to the point where the kangaroo gets strong and then the snake gets to shoot from behind the kangaroo. Um, you're a 45-33. So this plan is not gonna work. Holy cow. At least we're not dead, we're just on lethal. That sucked. <laughs> um, I think you could always use that. And uh, honestly, I, I don't know, I guess you're kind of the, the panda's the driver of the whole thing here. I don't know, this seems like a failure waiting to happen. They're gonna snipe my buffalo. Oh, their their order was slightly messed up. I it allows me to thrive for like a second. No, wait, I'm a genius. Okay, what are we doing? How are we doing this? None of this is good enough. That's clear. Level two buffalo, which is actually a bison, it helps out. Is it time for the kangaroo to go and instead rely on like a? like an ostrich to scale itself. I think it is. And let's just have the snake do what the kangaroo is supposed to. I never get used to that sound, man. So I'm going to make a bet here. And my bet is that a 2-2 buff for our ostrich and a 2-2 buff for the panda is better than trying to reroll specifically to get a better ostrich buff. Also, what am I doing? Why are we not blowing up the panda on top of the freaking bison, which has lemon to begin with. Wait a minute, because I'm a genius? No, 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 this is still, because you still just put a snake in front of it. Ooh, we're gonna, we're gonna lose. Uh, 
I realized the error of my ways at the last possible second. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It seems like a fun weekly this week. I'm excited to play a little bit more. Click the like button if you enjoyed it. Tell your friends. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. See ya.